Facebook, YouTube, Coach Johnny site. I'm so excited. This is Coach Johnny, and today I'm gonna have an amazing, amazing show. Okay, and I'm going to share with you actually how uh, something really bad happened in your life could be a blessing in this guys for your life. And I'm going to give you a step by step how you can actually become successful. Okay, and I'm going to also share a story that is going to really, really make you think. Okay, so stay tuned because I'm coming back with awesome stuff. Flow is very important. You hear Grant talking about this every single day in his show. You also hear, I bet, all the time these people making money online and you wish you knew how to do this. My team and I will show you step by step how to do this every single day from every content that I'm gonna put out there. I am Coach Johnny and I was born and raised in Peru and three years ago I was on welfare and I have built in the past three years a five million per year business all online. In this show, you will learn anything from making sales on Amazon. You're gonna learn how to monetize websites with clicks. People clicking on your website, you make money. Also how to place banners or ads and you gain pay, okay? Also, if you actually own a product, I will teach you how to generate leads and most important, I will teach you how to charge high ticket prices for your products and services, even if nobody knows you. Welcome to the new show at Grand Cardone TV. Every day, I will put a piece of content, so stay tuned, that will help you accomplish this, and also I will bring every week experts of each area that will help you continue learn more and at the end put more cash flow in your business this is called johnny can't wait to see you here can you hear me now excellent yes give me some likes if you can hear me, give me some likes if you want me to tell you the story. You know, Coach Johnny, full stories. Full stories that actually teach you to become successful. Yes, okay, you can hear me. Perfect. Now we can start the show. Okay, guys. Uh, Anthony, Anthony. Uh, I'm not gonna say his last name, but Anthony had a brain tumor, okay? And Anthony had a brain tumor, and the doctors told him that he was going to die in one year, okay? Exactly in one year, he was going to die. So he was sad, he was sad because he had no no legacy for his wife and kids, you know? He, got, he was being, you know, average, like most of us, you know, I was 36 years of my life, average. So what Anthony, Anthony had nothing to lose, right? Nothing to lose, he was gonna die in one year, okay? Uh, let me turn off this music here. Uh, let's see. Let's see, okay. So Anthony, Anthony was going to uh, die in one year. And a lot of us, you know, have greatness inside of us, but we never really uh, develop it because we're scared, we're busy, we're busy doing shit that we don't like. That's that's pretty much what it is. You know, you have to go work at McDonald's, you have to go work at that uh, print shop, you have to go work at whatever you work, and you have to work, 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 because you have to pay the bills, bills, bills. So you never really develop the greatness that there's, there is inside of you, okay? So what Anthony did was, he was not a novelist, okay? He was not a novelist, but he got some writing talent. So he started writing uh, 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 novels because he he wanted to leave some royalties uh, to his wife and kids, you know? And for a full year, he wrote five novels, okay, five, okay? 
Then after the year happened, <laughs> the brain tumor actually, the doctor said he went away uh, and, and he was not going to die anymore. Okay? He was not going to die anymore. So let me ask you a question. Why, why Anthony really went 100% mode? You know, he wrote five uh, novels that made him a lot of money uh, later on. And why did Anthony didn't do this great thing in, in the, the, last, the, the past 40 years of his life? Why? You know, so what I want to ask you ask yourself is, what will you do starting today if in one year you will die? Okay? What will you do? Tell me all the things that you will not, that you're not doing right now that you will do because you have nothing to lose. You're going to die. Okay? You're going to die. And to be honest, guys, when I was fired from corporate America, okay, I was 36 years old, okay? And for 36 years old, I had ups and downs, okay? Ups and downs. But I think that the last, uh, I will say, 10 years of my life, from 26 to 36, I think I gave up. I gave up on my greatness. I gave up because I was so into just working for a place that I didn't even like so I could pay the bills, okay? And a lot of us do the same thing. We got to do what we got to do. That's what we say, right? So we never even ex explore our greatness. And you can actually st start your greatness part-time. So why did, why did I have to wait Till my boss pushed me to to the to the office and says, Johnny, I'm sorry, but this is not for you. You are not good at, at, at creating uh, uh, web applications. This is not your thing. You're not detail oriented enough. You should be doing sales and 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 uh, talking or whatever because that's your thing. Why did I have to wait 36 years from some polished guy to tell me what I was good at? Why didn't I start earlier? Why did I have to wait 36 years to become a millionaire? Why? Why? Someone had to fire me for me to actually go full mode. Okay? Sense of urgency. Okay? Same for Anthony. Someone had to tell him he was going to die. For him to actually become someone. What are you waiting for? Don't make the mistakes that Anthony did for 40 years. Don't make the mistakes I did for 36 years. You can start today. This is something that actually... If you're finding value, guys, say yes, yes, great value, guys, okay? If you're finding value right now. Because this is real talk, guys. This is something that they don't teach you in high school. They don't teach you in college. Your parents don't teach you this. Most people don't know this. We don't talk about this. And this is actually what it takes to become successful. Super athletes. Super athletes have this. Okay? So what they do is they go to war every game. Every day. They go to war. They, are, they, they get self-motivated every game. They don't wait for a tragedy to become super athletes. Okay, and the people who actually, who actually reverse engineer this self-motivation thing, become successful, become someone. Okay, don't wait 40 years like Anthony, don't wait 36 years like I did to become someone. Don't wait for a tragedy. Start today. Coach Johnny has your back. I'm every day here telling you how it is. Because nobody taught me. My parents didn't know this. Nobody taught them. Okay? And, and I had to figure it out myself with pain. Perhaps, okay? Perhaps if my boss would have kept me at that job longer because he wanted to be nice, today I would still be broke. I would still be a loser. I would still be a bad parent. Okay, I apply that sense of urgency that people in World War II, okay, 
everyone in World War II were desperate and they became uh, 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 so much better than they were before because there was there was a, an, an external emergency in the world, okay? In the world. So don't wait for a war. Don't wait for your boss to fire you. Don't wait for you to have cancer and they tell you you have one year left. You have to start today. Start the war today. Every day is a war. The way I wake up every day, where is my money? And I'm going to go after because if I don't go after, someone else will take it. I will take food from my kids. That's the mentality you have to do for success. Stop being lazy. Stop making excuses. Stop being, you know, I don't want to say a bad word because we are life. But it's, you know what I, what I wanted to say. Stop being that, okay? Stop being like Coach Johnny was for 36 years. I was a chicken. I was afraid to go after my greatness. I was afraid for people to make fun of me or criticize me. I was afraid to make mistakes. I was afraid for people to make fun of me. And therefore, I stayed so long at a job that I hated. And I had to wait for that guy to fire me for me to become someone. Okay? Don't be like Coach Johnny. Don't be like Coach Johnny. Don't be like Coach Johnny. So what I want, the homework today is, I want you to think about what will you do today if you will die in one year? What will you do? Who will you become? Will you become a speaker? Will you become... Uh, uh, have this amazing brand that inspires people? Will you be this amazing soccer coach? What would you be? What would you do for your family? What would you leave for them? Like Anthony, he said, I want to leave my family a, a, a legacy. And he busted his ass for a year, wrote five novels, and made a lot of money after because of that emergency that happened in his life. I want you to do that today. Start today. There's a war today. So what are you going to do to become someone, okay? That's how I want you to live life, and that's how you always are going to be successful. Guys, if you find value here, at least all you can give me to your coach is a share and a like and a comment. Say, I loved it. You know, it helps because there's other people like you that they don't know me. They haven't heard. They're probably following the wrong people. I don't know. You know, and, and, and all I'm doing here is every single day is inspiring you so you do not make the mistakes that I made for 36 years and do not make the mistake that Anthony made for 40 years of his life. Love you guys very much. This is Kojani. Peace!